Welcome to Tutorial 2 of the Risa Floor Online Tutorial Series. This tutorial is intended to demonstrate the spreadsheet and graphic drawing capabilities of Risa Floor. To begin, click the Draw Beams button on the drawing toolbar. This will open the Draw Beams dialog box. In this dialog box, materials and shapes may be chosen along with orientation options. You may also assign the beams to a set of design rules. You may draw single span members or continuous beams. For this model, we will select a wide flange, hot rolled steel member drawn point to point. To begin with, confirm that hot rolled is selected as a material type. Under material, select A992. Under shape group, choose wide flange. Under design rule, choose typical. After clicking apply, Draw a box around your entire model. You will see that some beams were not automatically drawn. We will draw these in individually. There are 14 beams that need to be drawn in by clicking point to point. Start by clicking at A3 and then D3. Right click on your mouse or hit escape to release the pointer between clicks. Then Click B2 to B3. Continue clicking and releasing to draw the remaining beams. Your cursor will snap to points that are located at the end of members, the tops of columns, or at grid line intersections. If you have a drawing grid, defined in addition to your project grid, you will also snap to those points on the drawing grid. Now that we have those 14 beams drawn in, we can also use the same method of clicking point to point to draw in your members of your radial section. You can see your cursor will snap to the tops of the columns. You also want to create three bays in this radial section. Repeat this for the other side. And also create three bays. Notice I've left these two beams blank. That's currently because all the snap options are set to ends and quarter points of the members. And this doesn't line up exactly where we want them to be. So let's click on the Modify Drawing Grid button. Select the Snap to Options tab. Make sure the z-axis and x-axis increments are both set to one foot. Check the Use Universal Increments checkbox. This will allow you to draw freehand without being limited to a project or drawing grid. Next, draw in the first beam at coordinate 54, 119, and zero, and you will see your coordinates does do pop up on screen. And then draw that to the column. Draw in your next beam at coordinate 119, 54, zero. Next, Change the function of the beams that span between your lateral columns and make them lateral elements. On the drawing toolbar, click Draw Beams. Select the Modify Properties tab. In the Function area, choose the Use checkbox. Under Function, select Lateral. Before closing, 
make sure that apply entries by clicking beams individually is selected. Now, click on the four beams located between your lateral columns. You will see the members have turned red, indicating that they are now lateral members. Lastly, turn off the Use Universal Increments. Risa Floor's Infill Framing Tool assists your design process by quickly generating beams within existing bays. This tool will help you quickly create all of your secondary members. On the drawing toolbar, click Generate Beams Within Bays. Under Material, select A992. Under Beam Orientation, click Vertical. After clicking Apply, you can Click once in each bay to fill in those bays with your infill beams. Click in your bays until your, the upper left hand side of your model looks like this. If you're, you're zoomed out to view a larger portion of your model, you can generate secondary beams in multiple bays at once. On the drawing toolbar, click Generate Beams Within Bays again. Under Beam Orientation, select Horizontal. After clicking Apply, draw a box around the area between grid lines F5 and J10. This will select the entire area and all the bays will have your beams generated in them. You can also use this tool to generate infill beams that are parallel to an adjacent member. On the drawing toolbar, click Generate Beams Within Bay. Under Beam Orientation, select Angle to Beam. In the box, type 0. In the radial bay, click a radial bay and then click the member that you wish the beams to be parallel to. You can see this is a quick and easy way to make sure your bays are filled with your infill beams at the appropriate angle. Generate your infill beams until your model looks like this. This is the end of tutorial 2.